For the sign of Aries, hello and welcome to my channel. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. We'll find out what the present time is going to bring, which is going to be for the second week of October. We'll see what the challenge is and then we'll find out what the outcome is going to be. So the recent past energy between you and your person, we got the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. King of Pentacles, it speaks about authority, tradition, success, especially success in money matters. Because when you hear the word Pentacles, that's money, cash, coins, income, finance. So when this card appears in a reading, it is, it's a sign that now is not a time to be a maverick, but it's actually the time to follow the established way of doing things. And if this stands for an actual person in your life, it's referring to a very masculine type. He could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. And if he's referring to a man in your life, just know that this is a man who you can believe in and trust absolutely. Now, it's with the Seven of Cups, which is a card about choices, which indicates confusion. It does point to disorganization, having too much going on. It's needing to narrow your focus. You're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not really well. So it's about choosing just a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through them one by one. You may start to feel overwhelmed, but just remember you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. So Aries, like I said, the recent past energy, King of Pentacles, and it's clarified by the Seven of Cups. So the person that you're involved with, It looks like they wanted success in this connection. They could have been a very stable and civilized, or they are a very stable and civilized person, or this is what this is the type of energy that they wanted to bring to, to the connection. Um, they could have this person could have been career focused, but they you gave them the the, the impression that you had too much going on. And that um, maybe a relationship was not on your priority list. Yeah, this person got the impression that you just, you do too much or you do a lot of things. And they probably thought that you needed to near your focus. Because they see that sometimes you could be overwhelmed because you just didn't work through so many things that you were trying to do or that you were doing. Uh, maybe you worked a lot, maybe you had a lot of options, but this person, they, they want success with you. If they're still in your life, they, yeah, they do want success with you because this King of Pentacles is about success. This type of energy is a good father. Like I said, they're not afraid of commitment and this person wanted to se secure a commitment with you. They could have wanted to do that. And if they didn't, they they probably would have. But they saw that you you got too much going on. You had made, like I said, maybe a lot of options, maybe a lot of romantic choices, or maybe it just worked a lot. Something they just. I'm, I'm thinking that you kind of threw them off. Because you, they sense that you're so busy. Or maybe you just made busy. Some people make busy just to give the impression that they are busy. Um, or something like that. You know how people play the dating game. There is a such thing called the dating game. Whereas um, people read books on how to... Uh, um, do the right things to make a person interested in you. Yeah, you know those one-on-one -on -one dating books. Anyway, this person gets the impression that you're really busy. And they want, this person wanted to be with you. And if you're still with them, maybe they still do. Let's take a look and see. Now, for the present time, Two of Cups and the Moon card. Two of Cups, it refers to romantic partnership, but that's not its only connotation. 
It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This is a good card in the tarot. It says that things are likely to be going really well. You should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. Now, it's with the moon card. Moon card, you could start to feel psychic or intuitive more than usual. So it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts, trust your impressions, even if you don't know where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it will be helpful for you to realize that when you get this card, it's possible that all is not what it seems. And if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. So it's important to go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, unfortunately, unfortunately, it could take longer than you would like for it to. So the present time, two of cups, clarified by the moon card. Yeah, Aries, this person, they, they do still see you as someone that would be the ideal partner for them. Yeah, or you could be thinking this about them, that they're the ideal partner. Um, the perfect mate for you. But they feel like there's deception. Things are hidden from them because you're so busy all the time. So they might start to hold back. They, they may start to not trust this connection with you. Uh, yeah, you could see them as someone that you would have a serious relationship with. Or they could be feeling this about you because the Two of Cups is there. But now there's trust issues because you or your person is just always busy. Don't forget that the, the uh, energies can be, the roles can be switched because these are general readings. Now let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. Well, we got the Seven of Pentacles and the Death card. Now the Seven of Pentacles, it's about returns on investments. It can be returns from a bank account, returning money to you, or investments of time, effort, and energy that you put into a relationship. It's about reaping what you sow, and it's, this is positive. You should be feeling more secure than you have in a while, and things will be moving right along, and you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a good cause. Now, so with the death card, just keep in mind, death, the death card does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will. Such things are not written in stone. This card is simply about transformation and change. Definitely a time of deep transformation, likely to be both internally and externally in your life. Could be some situations, things, and people that you have counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. The transition can be difficult for some people, but the change is nearly always needed. Now the challenge, Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the death card. Well, okay, who, who's ever got the trust issues now because someone had a lot of options? They're losing interest, and now the table is turned. Whoever wanted this connection, I'm picking up this for most of you, it was the person you were, you were involved with, Aries. Whoever wanted it as the King of Pentacles, now they've lost interest. And now you're the one that want, really wants to make it work. You see how she's watering that plant? It was a little bitty baby when she first got it. Now it's about eight feet tall. So now you really want it to work. And your person has lost interest. Because they no longer trust it. You had too many options or you were just too busy. But this person did see you as a perfect mate, as a perfect mate, the ideal partner, and they wanted to have something special with you. So the roles have been switched. Yeah. They wanted to, to, it to work. They've lost interest. You're too busy. You were too busy. And it brought about mistrust. Now you really want it to work. But they've lost interest. So let's see what the outcome is. Well, we got the Four of Wands, and it's with the World card. Now, the Four of Wands, it's it's actually a, the Marriage and Commitment card. It, it indicates that you could be attending a special event. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating, so make sure to go if you get invited to something. If you have a business that's going really well, you'll be proud of yourself, and others will be proud of you, too. 
this is a very positive card in your reading. It does show a need to keep your wits about yourself. It's about needing to treat yourself to some fun. You're probably still in a building up phase, but now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. Also, the four of wands, it can mean that you might be thinking of moving or just moving your place of residence. Now, it's with the world card, which is about completion. You worked hard. You're almost at the finish line in some way, so just don't quit now because you're so close. You could feel like you need some well-deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. You're getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now, when it comes to work, it's a good chance that you're working too hard for far too little recognition and way too little, mon way too little money. So, if this is the case, toot your own horn a little just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. So, Aries, the outcome, Four of Wands and the World card. Like I said, the Four of Wands is the marriage and commitment card. Okay, so now that you really want this to work, and your person who really wanted it to work at first, but lost interest, because they couldn't figure you out and it caused trust issues. So the outcome for that is that you realize now if you want something special, like this Four of Wands, you're going to need to close a chapter or end a cycle of whatever this is you're doing. Like I said, this Seven of Cups could be a lot of options. You date a lot, you see a lot of people. Or you just make busy, or you re or you are really busy. But something you need to stop doing, because you see that it's turning people off. And that you're, you're um, probably missing out on something really special. That's what you're going to realize. Or you realize that you probably did miss out on something special, like this Four of Wands. Yeah, the Seven of Cups, yeah, you see that it's turning people off. Or it's turned off someone special. Because the King of Pentacles is a very, it's a, it's a good, stable, civilized energy. So yeah, you did miss out on something special. This person wanted success with you, and they wanted success with you, and they wanted 